and a good early afternoon on this Friday. Roger Hill of Weathering Heights, Vilco Weather Hazards Outlook forecast here. We're looking at the area of low pressure in the upper levels back uh, driving this system here. It's going to kind of blow through this portion of Vermont pretty quickly. And uh, we're not going to see that much in the way of precipitation, but at the onset we could see just a little bit of uh, flakes mixed in with some rain, and that will quickly change over to rain, and some of those flakes will kind of linger in some of the areas around the Northeast Kingdom and further to the east uh, and parts of Maine, New Hampshire, for example. But uh, really no worries, even for travel, it doesn't look like a really big deal. Uh, this weather system, again, is going to move by pretty quickly, and we're going to have kind of colder weather that's going to drop in. Once this area of low pressure gets on the uh, the backside, it'll pull in some westerly and northwesterly winds, and that's going to set the stage for some gradient winds on Sunday. However, it looks fairly marginal and mostly just affecting the uh, southern greens, perhaps into the southern part of Windsor County into Wyndham County. Generally, the eastern slopes of the southern green mountains could be under the gun for that. These are also in the same areas that were hit very, very hard, of course, with the wet snow loading. And temperature-wise, uh, an influx of warmer air is going to make it in here for daytime highs around 40. And we can see a lot of those warmer temperatures working in. But also a little bit of rain should be arriving here roughly around midday or early afternoon. On the right-hand side, we have the GFS Ensemble. And this is the 06Z model run. And on the left-hand side, we have the European, also 06Z model run. We'll change this over to 0Z and we'll be able to extend this uh, further out in time. This is the most current modeling and you can see that rain is approaching the region. Again, a little bit of onset mixed precipitation types, maybe some wet snowflakes, but overall it's going to be primarily rain. So as we run the computer model, we see the rain showers work in and then out of the region, these will be clearing out and, uh, and that will give us a little bit of a clearing line here through the day on Saturday. And Saturday is going to shape up actually sort of in between weather systems to be a relatively dry day. Um, it'll have some clouds with it at times and no one day ahead looks like it's going to be sunny all day long. We'll feature some form of cloud, either high, mid-level clouds, sometimes low clouds, uh, departing backside of these areas of low pressure. But needless to say, we have one situated for basically Saturday that's going to feature some pretty fine weather. Uh, staying basically in between precipitation. Now the GFS Ensemble wants to move showers very late in the day. I think those are going to hold off, and that would be, of course, snow showers. Now, what ends up happening, though, is the snow showers do make it. Some lake effect streamers coming in off of Lake Ontario. This takes place and starts up basically Saturday evening, Saturday night. And into the day on Sunday, it's going to be a much colder day, kind of blustery. And this is where we're going to see that gradient wind out of the west interact with the southern Green Mountains. And with that will come some snow showers and flurries. We're, we're looking at minutia in terms of precipitation types. This is going to be kind of an old frontal boundary that's going to be playing with us a little bit. Mostly just producing cloud cover. We have areas of higher pressure to the north in Canada and also in the southern U.S. These are going to kind of work together in tandem and eventually bring us what looks to be some pretty fine weather. So looking a little bit further along here, now we're into basically Monday and Tuesday, and uh, conditions are looking pretty dry. Everything is going to ship, ship off to the north here just a little bit, that, that old frontal boundary. But uh, it does look like everything's going to stay dry right into our day on Wednesday. And then eventually a warm front's going to form. And then beyond the period, it looks like on Thursday we get into a little bit more uh, kind of maybe some wet snowflakes mixed in with some rain showers. That's going to be the next system to move in. The one I'm not really crazy about, it happens basically over the weekend, and this is its long duration. This kind of signature with sort of an anticyclonic uh, curve like this typically forms, yes, freezing rain. Even late in the season, a little bit of that indicated this would not be much more than a travel problem, and that looks like that would happen Friday into Saturday and then change back to rain and then back to snow. So we have one of those coming at us this coming weekend with more unsettled weather. And that would be the next real significant snowfall. And it's really not that significant. We're talking probably two, three, four inches max. Looking at the Montpelier grid of the uh, GFS Ensemble, what we can see here is that uh, bigger precipitation that uh, is going to be really next weekend. But the lead up to that through this weekend, just minutia, very little amounts of precipitation, a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow and so on. 
So looking at precipitation type, you can see it's mostly all rain today, maybe a few wet snowflakes on the front end. Then we go a little bit more into snow showers or flurries, and then we're back into sort of 50-50. And looking at the entire QPF, uh, we're talking about under 2,500ths of an inch for the next several days out, and this is in very good agreement with the European model as well. Uh, in terms of temperatures, we'll look at 850 temperature atop Mount, about the same level as the uh, Mount Mansfield. Temperatures go up, that's why we're seeing rain. We bottom out with colder weather and then make a gradual rise, staying mostly below freezing at about uh, 4,000 feet, 4,300 feet, and so on. Pretty decent sugaring weather is setting up for the first uh, three days of next week, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. This is a total QPF from the Weather Prediction Center, total seven days here. And we're lo looking at a quarter inch line here, and this is the half inch line. So again, we're talking about very low precipitation uh, over the next really seven days. Two meter temperature from the Climate Reanalyzer, University of Maine, shows anomalous cold, the coldest up here in uh, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and then southeast into the Dakotas, Minnesota. Warm uh, above normal temperature anomalies continue in the eastern side of the country. And this has, of course, been the weather pattern for most of the winter. Uh, very, very warm across portions of Siberia. And uh, we'll see maybe some of this at some point around the corner. But not for a while yet as we have colder than normal temperatures. And as you can see here, over the next five days, Coast to coast cold, near neutral, sort of lee of the Colorado Rockies, and then here in the eastern part of New England. About three days later, things start to warm up. Still remaining cold out here. Our only utility concern remains to be winds, and this is valid at about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. You can see that the southern greens are starting to see gusts trying to approach 40 and then they do climb a little bit here this is valid uh, that would be nine o'clock that's 10 11 12 noon that's one in the afternoon two in the afternoon three in the afternoon that's four o'clock five and things start to uh, climb down a little bit probably even earlier than that and we're seeing again just some marginal gusts across uh, the southern green mountains interacting with the western slopes and wind trajectory show you the direction here. This is the greens, and of course this is thing blowing and interacting with a slightly warmer waters. Usually shows up uh, stronger winds typically. And what we can see is the interaction with the uh, terrain of the central and southern green mountains. With that little green right there, these are wind sustained winds, and that's about 14Z. So that's about uh, the mid to late morning hours during the day on Sunday. That kind of lingers a little bit into the afternoon and then pretty much falls apart. That's it from here, Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.